Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to our channel. My sister Lucy and I have been running Sticker Guru, which is our sticker shop, for the past over seven years now. And prior to the end of last year, we were using eight silhouette portraits to cut all of our stickers. And then we finally decided to invest in a plotter. So we ended up going with the Graftech plotter. I think it's the CE7000 and it has the F mark attachment. So it's an auto feeder. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about our experiences with this machine the pros and the cons and why we decided to get this machine. So there's a lot to cover, so let's dive in. Why do we wanna get this machine? So prior, like I said, we were using eight silhouette portraits. We ran them as efficiently as possible, but at the end of the day, it is still tedious and monotonous work. We were cutting several hours every single week, so we decided to get the F mark because of the auto feeder feature. This allows you to cut a stack of stickers without anyone manning the machine, so we really like that because it really freed up our time so we could work on other projects. This machine was quite the investment. It cost us a little over $5,000 after tax, and we got a lot of questions like, why don't you just hire someone to man your silhouette portraits instead of having to spend $5,000 on a new piece of equipment that you have to completely relearn how to use and design for. We had actually been thinking about hiring someone to help cut stickers for us since 2020, but as you know, there's a global pandemic and we were working out of our parents' house. That's where our office was for Sticker Guru. We were just working out of our parents' home, so they didn't feel comfortable with having people come over to their house to cut the stickers, which is understandable because one, it's the pandemic, and two, they just weren't comfortable with that in general. Since we couldn't really hire anyone where we were working out of, we decided to go ahead and look into renting out an office space and then hiring people once we had moved our offices elsewhere. So we did some research. We are based in San Diego and if you're not familiar with San Diego, it's Southern California. It's expensive to rent a warehouse. Like a decent sized office space is thousands of dollars every month. So we didn't feel like we were really at that point financially to be able to spend thousands of dollars on office rent every single month. So we decided to go with a different plan. Since I was also living at home during this time, during these couple of years after I graduated from college, I have been thinking of wanting to move out simply for my own mental health sake. So I decided why not buy a house and that way I can move out and move Sticker Guru's office space into my house. So that's what I did. All of last year I was going to a lot of open houses and just looking for the right place to move Sticker Guru to. So finally in August of last year I bought a house clothes and everything and now Sticker Guru is operating out of my home. I felt like buying a house was a better use of my money rather than spending thousands on rent for an office space. So I bought my house in August and that's kind of around the time when we were aware of this machine so we quickly bought it and it just sat in its box for several months until I finally was like, I'm going to figure out how to use this machine because it was a very expensive investment. So apparently there are plotters out there that can print and cut stickers um, all from one machine, but we decided to not do that because we sell foiled stickers. So we have to run our sticker sheets through an inkjet first and then a laser printer. And I just didn't think there was any sort of plotter out there that could do printing both inkjet and laser from the same machine. So I like this machine because you still have the freedom to use your own printers, but then once you have your stickers all printed out, you can just put it into the feeder. Okay, so moving on to our experience with this machine so far. First up, I don't really know if you can tell on camera, but this is a very large machine. I am kind of sitting far from it, but it's a really big machine. It's much bigger than a silhouette machine. 
And one thing I wasn't expecting about this machine is how wide it is. I need a wide table that can support this machine. We had to go out and buy a new table for this. We got it from Ikea. It just happens to be the same exact width of this cutting machine. So I'm going to link the Ikea table we ended up getting because it was definitely not going to fit on any of our other tables. Okay, in terms of actually setting up this machine, it comes with like a minimal setup guide that you kind of follow to get your machine all started and running and that was pretty easy to follow along. I would say once, like, once you get up to the demo cutting portion of the setup guide, um, that's when things start to get a little confusing um, because once you finish cutting the demo, it's basically, okay, you're on your own now. So they did take quite a bit of finagling around with this machine and just designing in order for me to really figure out how to cut my own stickers. When we were using our Silhouette portraits, we used to design in Silhouette Studio. It was super easy to use and we could design things very quickly. With the F mark though, you do need to use Adobe Illustrator and there's no easy way to convert your silhouette files into Adobe files because the registration marks are different, um, the margins are different, so you really are going to have to redesign your stuff if you move to the graph tech. However, I will say you don't necessarily need to design an Illustrator. One of the hardest parts of switching from silhouettes to the graph tag is this part where you have to kind of redesign your stickers. So we're thinking of doing a masterclass video for Big Plains Academy regarding how to exactly use the graph tag and design for it um, template style because that will save you so much time. So definitely stay tuned for that masterclass. I think it's going to be really helpful if you're switching from silhouette to graph tech. The next thing about the F mark is that it has completely different margins compared to the silhouette portraits or cameos. The margins are much bigger in certain areas compared to the silhouette portrait. It certainly had less design space when it came to printing out our stickers. We were printing two sticker sheets to an 8.5 by 11 page. As we switched to the graph tech, we were only able to fit one of those pages per sheet. So that doubled our printing time and that I would say is definitely a con with this machine. In terms of noise levels, this machine is so loud compared to a silhouette portrait. It's pretty loud mostly when it is picking up a sheet from the auto feeder um, because it uses air to like suction the page and then feeds it into the graph tech. But once it actually starts cutting, it's not that loud. It's just only the part when it's doing the auto feeding is really loud. So um, I try to avoid being in the same room as this machine while it's running because it can be loud. So definitely recommend wearing some headphones or working in a separate room. Okay, we got asked if you can send multiple jobs, like multiple designs and sheets to cut um, if you all just stack them into one stack and put it in there if that's possible. I don't think that is. Personally, we've only been cutting one design at a time. A lot of our designs are templated, so I can grab like all the page ones of our weekly kits, put them together, and it's like a giant stack of stickers and I'll just pop it into the feeder, but I don't like mix and match different designs Per stack so because that is the case I don't think this machine is ideal if you're only cutting say like a couple of sheets per design because you are going to probably be sitting here and waiting for it to finish cutting so you can set up the next design and send it to the auto feeder which basically defeats the point of it being an auto feeder you want to be able to just put a stack in start cutting it and then leave so once you send off your design, you can honestly just leave. I typically just stick around for like a couple of sheets 
just to make sure everything is running properly. And then once I see everything is going great, I will go ahead and leave. I have left my house before to like run errands and I've come back and it's like still cutting perfectly. So that is why I absolutely love this machine. My favorite thing about this machine, other than the fact that it's an auto feeder and literally no one has to be here while it's cutting, is just how accurate this machine is. If you have worked with silhouette portraits or cameos, I think more specifically portraits though, they are typically inaccurate, especially towards the bottom right as you're cutting through a sheet of stickers. Um, you'll notice that the stickers are a little off, a little misaligned. I've always found that to be pretty annoying with the silhouette portrait, and that's just something we've dealt with over the years. But with the Graph Tech, we never have that issue. All the cuts are always 100% accurate. We rarely have any oop stickers from cutting, which is honestly really amazing. If I had to give a percentage of error, I would probably say one every 200 sheets maybe we get like an off cut or something or something messes up but it's honestly very very low versus the silhouette i feel like we had oops stickers miscuts misalignments whatever like all the time so i love how accurate this machine is and honestly it better be accurate because it costs five thousand dollars Alright, so a few things you should consider before upgrading to this machine. So one, are you cutting enough volume to justify the price tag? Like how many sheets are you cutting per week? Like for example, are you cutting hundreds or thousands of sheets per week or are you just cutting maybe like 20 sheets per week? Because maybe that's probably not worth it. Number two, are you looking to save time? And if so, what would you use that time for? Would you use it for your more time for yourself, your hobbies, or more time for you to work on other projects? It's good to think about what you're gonna use that extra time for. And then three, I just wanted to throw this in in case you weren't aware, but you do need Adobe Illustrator for this machine and Adobe Illustrator is like a monthly subscription. So are you ready to take on that extra monthly, or I think we paid annual, so monthly or annual fee um, to use that. So if you're still not sure if this machine is worth it for you, we have created a calculator. It is linked in the description. It's gonna be the first link and it will help you calculate based on how much you're cutting, how long you're cutting for, and it will tell you if this graph tech is worth the investment for your business. So yeah, that is my experience with the graph tech and the auto feeder. Definitely let me know in the comments if you have any further questions and if you're interested in the masterclass, um, I will leave like a waitlist link in the description if you're interested for that. We're hoping to create that within the next month or two, so stay tuned, but let me know your thoughts on this machine if you're going to get it for your business, or if you already have this machine, what you think about it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!